Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to take a look at ransack regression using Python. So let's go ahead and see what we can learn. Now, ransack regression is a slightly different flavor of regression that probably most of us are not familiar with. But with ransack regression, it stands for random sample consensus. What's happening is that the algorithm is um, taking parts of the data to determine it to be inliers and outliers. It's, it's using a sample to, to determine what is an outlier in the data and what's an inlier in the data. What I mean by inlier is that it's a part of the data. You know, it's within the two standard deviations. What I, what I mean by an outlier is something that is outside of it. And so what happens is that, and you can see the steps right here, is that the algorithm randomly selects a sample to be inliers in the data. So it randomly does this. Then it fits the model, and uh, all that is used to fit the model, and the samples that fall within a certain tolerance are relabeled as the, as the inliers again. So it starts by randomly selecting inliers, and then it runs the model, and then based on the results of that model, it refits. And it, it iterates to keep trying to find what is the best set of inliers, and then once you reach a certain tolerance level, it, it exits, if you will, and you have an, a nice idea of what are the inliers, you know, data points that should be a part of your model and what are outliers. So what's happening with ransack regression is that <clears throat> it's kind of not automatically selecting what are the outliers in your data set. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to take a data set that's based on the tips that waiters get and we're going to try to predict the tips that they're going to get based on the independent variables in that model. And so because this is kind of a unique experience, we're going to make two different models. A, a model using simple regression and a model using multiple regression. So the steps we're going to use are right here. We're going to, of course, prepare the data, then we're going to make our simple regression model, and then we'll make our multiple regression model. So right here in this first cell, you can see the actual modules or libraries we're going to be using in this particular video. So we're going to be using pandas, pydatasets, where our data comes from. We're going to be using ransack, the ransack regressor and, of course, linear regression. They, these both come from the sklearn uh, module. NumPy is next. We're going to make some visuals. And then we're going to also calculate the mean absolute error and the r square. So let me go ahead and run this. All right, we're good. Now for the data preparation, it's a little complicated. I don't want to spend a lot of time on that, but I'll just show you the code and try to walk you through it. So basically, to make a long story short, in line number one, we're loading our data set, tips. And then in line number two, we're preparing our independent variables in one data set, our data frame, excuse me, and our dependent variable, which is going to be tip in a, a separate data set. And they're both called X and Y, respectively. Now, everything that's happening here in lines three, through eight is I'm making dummy variables. So the model can only take, you know, numbers. It cannot take yeses or no. So I have to put ones or zeros, if you will, for these various uh, categorical variables, male, whether, you know, the, the gender of the person, their smoking status, and, you know, whether they, it was dinner time or not dinner time. And so that's what's happening in lines three through eight. And then in line seven, or excuse me, line number nine, I drop the original categorical variables that have the text and I replace them with male only from line four, smoker yes in line six, and dinner in line number eight. That's what's happening there. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Don't let this uh, error message scare you. It's harmless. Um, so we're going to keep going. Now we're going to move to making our simple regression model. And so let me go ahead and show you what's going on here. So first, we're going to make an instance of our ransack regressor. So we set the threshold to 2. You can obviously set that to other values. Random state or the, or the seed number is set to 0. And then we're going to actually set our actual ransack regressor fit. So we're doing total bill and y. So we're just taking the, the, the variable total bill, and we're going to use that to predict um, the tip. That's what we're doing here. Because remember, this is simple regression. And so then we're going to, of course, predict with that because we need to do the predictions for this. And then we're going to print out the R-square and the mean absolute error because these are ways to assess 
are the actual performance of the model. So the R square is 43 and the mean absolute error is um, 0 0.75. Now the mean absolute error is only useful in comparison to another model. And so we're just gonna kind of leave that alone. But you can see for now our R square is 44% just using that one variable total bill. So how much the people spent when they went to the actual restaurant. Now right here is the code to visualize this. Now our focus in this video is on ransack regression. It's not on the visualization process. So I'm not going to explain this code, but if we run this, we'll get a nice little beautiful output that identifies in the blue here, what are the actual inliers? These are the data points that should be a part of the model. And then of course you have the green squares there. These are the outliers. And these are uh, points that might wanna be removed from the model. So you can see how that works. And again, the beauty of Ransat regression is that it identifies these so quickly and simply for you. Of course, you wanna do your own analysis to kinda you know, ascertain if you should remove these or not, or if they should be a part of the model. But you can see the beauty behind this. Now, next we're gonna do multiple regression. And so the only difference, which I'm sure you're aware of this, is that now you have more than one independent variable in the model. That's the only difference. So instead of just using total bill, which is the amount that maybe one individual person spent at the restaurant, we're gonna use all of our independent variables. And you can see the code here. All this code is the same. The only thing that is different is that instead of using one variable for my X data frame, I'm using all of them. That's it. So this is multiple regression. And so you can see here that the R score actually went down a little bit and the mean absolute error actually went up a little bit. So not a whole lot to be gained from here. So you can already probably tell if you're more familiar with statistics that the total bill is probably one of the best predictors for determining the tip that a, a waiter or waitress will receive. And of course that makes sense. Now here's the thing, for those of you who are more comfortable with regression as I just mentioned, you know that you can't graph in two dimensions the, um, the, the various, uh, the values in a multiple regression model. So what we have to do here is we have to compare the predicted values with the actual values. And that'll kind of give us an idea of, you know, a, a visual of the, the multiple dimensions of multiple regression, if you will. And so that's what we're doing. We're taking our predicted values and we're going to use those as a visual with our actual values. And again, I'm not going to explain the code for the visualization because we're, this is not a visualization video. We're focused on ransack regression and we don't want the video to run on for 20, 30, 40 minutes. But if I run this code, you can see here that it looks mostly the same. So you have the predicted tip on the X axis, the actual tip on the Y axis, and you can flip these back and forth depending on your philosophy. But you can see right here that we have this line here and we can actually get an idea of, of the, what is the inliers and what are the outliers just from looking at this. So let me go back and summarize what we did and wrap up this video. So in this video, we took a look at a unique form of regression that I've already said, most people are probably not familiar with it. And that was Ransack regression, which is an acronym for random sample consensus. And what this algorithm does is that it iterates over the data, randomly selecting what are gonna be inliers and outliers and going over that process over and over again until it's able to have a nice idea of the data points that should be a part of the model and data points that may be considered to be removed. Now, of course, if you keep running the model over and over again, you're always gonna have outliers and inliers. But the point is that it gives you an idea of where to start and where you might want to make adjustments to your model. And so the first time through, we, of course, after, after preparing the data, we made a simple, um, simple regression model here where you can see we just took the total bill and compared it to the tip because those were the two variables in the model. It was a simple regression. And then the next time with multiple regression, we were able to, of course, now have several independent variables and we took the predict predicted tip and compared it to the actual tip to make our visual. So I would like to thank you for watching this video. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Take care.